The Founding Fathers were wary of a standing army for several reasons, primarily rooted in their historical experiences and concerns about liberty and the concentration of power. The Founding Fathers associated standing armies with the potential for government overreach and tyranny. In their view, history showed that rulers often used professional armies to suppress freedoms and control populations. The British Army's role in enforcing colonial policies, such as the quartering of troops, was a vivid example of this for the American colonists. Many of the founders believed that a standing army was contrary to Republican ideals, which emphasized the role of citizen soldiers defending their own liberties. They preferred militias, composed of ordinary citizens, who would serve in times of need, rather than a permanent military force that could be used by the government against the people. 3. Expense and Burden A standing army was seen as a financial burden on a fledgling nation. The founders were concerned about the economic strain of maintaining a professional military force, especially given the limited resources of the early United States. The costs of a permanent army could lead to higher taxes, which many feared would undermine the economic health of the nation. The founders were concerned that a standing army might encourage leaders to pursue unnecessary or aggressive military actions. Without a constant military force at hand, the hope was that the government would be more cautious in resorting to war and would rely on diplomacy whenever possible. Some founders, particularly those who favored strong state rights, were concerned that a federal standing army could centralize too much power in the national government. They feared that such a force could be used to diminish the autonomy of individual states and impose federal authority. Despite these concerns, the need for national defense was recognized, leading to the compromise that Congress would have the power to raise armies when needed, but only for limited periods, as specified in the Constitution, which grants Congress the power to raise and support armies, but limits appropriations to two years at a time. This ensured civilian oversight and control over the military, reducing the risk of a permanent, unchecked military force.